everyone welcome to tutorials point in this video we will learn about another major important biomolecule which is the nucleic acid and its monomer the nucleotide so the learning objectives will be to know what are nucleic acids and to recognize nucleotides as the monomers for nucleic acids now first the nucleic acid the nucleic acid is a class of bio macromolecule so again if it is a bio macromolecule then on chemical analysis it should be obtained in the acid insoluble fraction the word nucleic acid comes from the following terms now nucleic means that it is found inside the nucleus and acid is because of its nature it is it is acidic in nature now this term nucleic acid was given by altman now frederick mischer was one scientist who first isolated something like nucleic acid from the pus cells which he thought was responsible for transferring genetic information from one generation to another and he called it nuclein and this nuclein was later recognized as nucleic acid now this nucleic acid just like other biomolecules is made up of carbon hydrogen oxygen in case of proteins we had nitrogen so here also we have nitrogen but there is one difference in case of protein we had sulfur because of the cysteine amino acids but here we have phosphorus group in them which comes from the phosphoric acid the major role of nucleic acid in the body is to transfer genetic information store the information and also synthesize corresponding proteins related to the information now this nucleic acid the monomers for these nucleic acids are the nucleotides so let us see now what are nucleotides so we said that nucleic acids are biopolymers of nucleotides so you must be thinking that nucleotides are just like simple amino acids and the mono sugars but no they have a very complicated structure very i mean to say they are different from the simple sugars and the amino acids now they are made up of three major components let us see each component one by one so the first component present is a pentose sugar which is a five carbon sugar now we learned in the five carbon sugar the important ones were ribose and deoxyribose which are present in dna and in rna the difference between a ribose sugar and a deoxyribose sugar was that at the second position in place of oh which is present in the ribose a h is present in deoxyribose so it is called two prime deoxyribose why because it lacks the oh group the next component present in the nucleotide is a phosphate group so the phosphate group po4 minus 2 comes from the phosphoric acid the third component is the nitrogenous base we will learn about this component specifically in the next videos because it is the nitrogenous base which makes difference in the codes of the genetic information so now we are in a state to define the structure of a nucleotide so this is how a nucleotide assembles together to form a polynucleotide here is a phosphate sugar phosphate group this is a sugar and this is a base now to summarize we can say that the nucleic acids are biopolymers of nucleotides they play a very important role in storing the genetic information transferring it and synthesizing protein also there are two major types of nucleic acids the dna and the rna the building blocks for the nucleic acids are the nucleotides and the nucleotides are made up of three major components a pentose sugar a phosphate group and a nitrogenous base in next video we will learn about the nitrogenous bases in detail till then thank you tutorialspoint.com simply easy learning